Ah, Polcat is on the move again. I'm headed up to Michigan to go do kayaking with Bach and Jennifer. On the company trip, that we're, we're going to be going through Illinois, stopping at a few dispensaries. I've already talked to a few in uh, Mount Vernon and a few in Effingham, Illinois. Uh, they are willing to do an interview on camera about the quality of cannabis that are being sold in the legal market today. Well, I made my first stop be with uh, my buddy Ronnie. He's the one that donated me this GoPro camera I use. Owner of Smokehouse Kennels. Him and his wife, Courtney, they both breed uh, Ronnie Corso. Beautiful dog. Great temperament. Probably, uh, not even probably, definitely the best breeder of that breed that I've personally had. Uh, they have a beautiful dog. But anyway, headed to his house. And this is what I got going on. What an introduction back to the road trip. Life of a cold cat. Just left my first Illinois dispensary. It wasn't a real dispensary. It was one of those CBD Kratom places or whatever that is trying to use the loophole of 0.3% THC or less is considered hemp. Until cannabis has been decarboxylized, which is burnt, heated up to 240 degrees, it only has THCA. It has to be decarboxylized into THC for it to become an illegal plant. So, or a monitored plant by the state of Illinois. So, I went in and tried to talk to them, see if I could get a, a, a review on their cannabis. I'm going to tell y'all right now, do not go to one of those places. If you can't tell that that is trash from looking at it in the jar, then you are an uneducated person on cannabis. The stuff these people are pushing in these places are absolutely trash, and they wonder why they have a industry that is not thriving. You can't get a return customer if all you do is present trash. I understand they are purchasing what they have access to. Why would a dispensary not want to make sure that their customer base has access to quality cannabis? Polecat has made it to Allegan, Michigan, up here where two of my most favorite people live at, Bach and Jennifer. Gonna go in here and get skunky. Been a long ride. We're gonna go do this kayak trip in a few days. So, showed up early just to hang out with two of my most favorite people. Life of a polecat going to breakfast with Bach this morning at the mom and pop shop here in Allegan, Michigan. Last time I was here, this road here was all tore up. Now they starting to get it all put back together. But over, they're, they're redoing the, the roads for the historical part of town. These buildings are like super, super old. But they got it all tore up over there in front of box shop so we're just walking to breakfast this morning gonna do some really good food my favorite place to eat up here so far 
top of the morning to you from Michigan. It is Sunday, August the 20th. Me and Bob and Jennifer are going to go do some kayaking today. But first, the polecat is about to go down here to his favorite place called On the Grid and get me some breakfast and some good coffee. Got to get a little go-go juice for this damn kayaking trip. So, here in Allegan, Michigan, where Bach and Jennifer live at, they're tearing up all the streets and putting them down new streets, new sidewalks. The whole town's all tore up, really. But I was going to go there this morning to a place called Minnie's Restaurant. It's a cute little building. Ah, uh, we have finally made it here on the Kalamazoo River. Doing some kayaking with Bach and Jennifer and some other friends of theirs up here. They getting their getting their lather on. All the sunblock. Well, this is a quite bit different than the old muddy river of Georgia and the beautiful crystal clear river of Florida, the Rainbow River. Get some shots throughout the day. Do a little record here, a little record there, but for the most part, just gonna be doing some hanging out. Kind of show y'all around the river banks of the Kalamazoo River in Michigan. There's a spot where animals are coming down to get water. Can't say what it is. I, I'm not familiar with what they have here. I know right now at this moment they got a polecat floating down the river. Just had a little getting skunky moment with Bach and Jennifer. Next, we'll be trying out some of that dispensary death row records. Got a plane flying, can't see it cause of the sun. I think she was almost asleep. Huh? It looked like she was almost asleep. She will fall asleep. I don't blame her. She'll just tuck down here and lay her head on me and go to sleep. I don't blame her near a bit. Listen, she was an itty bitty baby. She was a water baby. Had to get up on custom white jacket for her. Oh no. What are you drinking on over there? We have, we have soda. No, what kind of beer did you bring? Modelo? Miller Lite. Oh, Miller Lite. Somebody told me everything's all right. That life's too short to be afraid. We should play it in every single day. And learning so we educate and be positive. It is what it is. I'm already rolling. I was actually in the middle of doing this review of uh, some Death Row record stuff. Yeah. Is there a turtle? I think so. Look on the bright side, rise up, now make an impact. Now get your backs back, think about your life, the thrill, don't you cry. Be kind and keep a smile, keep your head up and try. Find a friend or a child and encourage their life. Oh. So right up there ahead of us, there's some swans. I'm going to make my way over towards that way and see if I can't get them a little bit closer on this GoPro. 
sick ass trees fell over in the water. It ain't Rainbow River clear, but it's more clear than the old muddy back home. Oh shit. It's like a whole family of swan over here. Let's see what we got going on here. Yeah. swans <laughs> the swans of the Kalamazoo River yeah we're gonna to go this way <laughs> and stay away from the swans because they got them teenage brats with them and they still might be pretty protective over them guys so yeah well, oh shit, they got a baby with them. We better not fuck with them. Yeah, we'll, we'll let them have that way. Oh, he's looking at us. That water. They probably already killed them. Oh, Aiden's on the surfboard. Out here on the Kalamazoo River in Michigan with Block and Jennifer and their crazy crew. Yeah, so uh, coming down the river here, notice these really long stairs coming down from these houses. If I gotta walk back that, back up that every time I come down to the river, nah, I'm good. Call me lazy if you want to, but that's a lot of steps to go back up beautiful though not very deep we're talking maybe knee deep right here and maybe knee deep Michigan, out in the forest, doing a little camping. They got these nice fire rings they put in the ground up here. A little different than what they do in Washington, but that's a bigger fire pit. Bach and Jennifer's rooftop tent. I'm in the van. We all know how I do it. So we're out here in the woods. Box getting set up to do a little tattooing on that leg right now. Get rid of some of that, some more of that crap that we're doing when I was younger. Little blow up tent. Thing's cool as shit. Got him a little open so and get him a sun tan while he works. Nothing like working in the sun. Yeah. Not everybody wants to work in the shade all the time. Beautiful little view through the little woods here. A lot of small ferns on the other side of the hill. We went for a walk earlier and on the other side of the hill there was some Pretty good sized ferns on the other side of the hill. Life of a polecat, traveling around, getting tattooed in the damn woods. Ain't that some shit. Alright, we're getting packed up here at the campsite in Michigan. Starting to get a little sprinkle today this morning. It wasn't supposed to do any of that. Jennifer's over there on the other side of the Jeep there. 
making a little breakfast, box, scrambling around, getting things together. Got a little fire going on. Only thing I got left to pack up is my kayak. But yesterday afternoon, we watched a, a big herd of deer. I don't know. I would probably say at least eight to ten deer walking around. One came around from this direction over here, came over the hill, walked all through there, and then disappeared up into there where all the rest of them was at. And then again this morning, me and Bach was standing here and one walked right up through there. I was watching for them damn deer to walk through there all day yesterday and whenever I seen it, I was like, hell yeah. Cause I knew this was an area that you could just definitely see deer just walking around. I don't blame them, I'd be in here too. Absolutely beautiful. Out here living the life of a polecat. Smoke going on, thank you, just the things that we do.